Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> How are you doing? Um, Cassidy here again with the red nails. I did those last night. And I'm sitting out on my balcony. My infamous balcony. You can probably hear the, the noise from the hospital across the street. And um, I'm having a little bit of hash brown. Mm. Yum. And I'm having a little bit of egg McMuffin. I decided I would go out and pick up some breakfast. And I will wash it all down with the Starbucks coffee in the special mug that was sent to me by the Hodge in the gift basket I received, for which I'm eternally grateful. I didn't go to Panera this morning. I have laundry to do. And um, I want to get some writing done. I didn't do a lot of writing last night. Here come. Hold on. <laughs> One of the hazards of living in the city uh, especially when you live close to two hospitals, um, you get sirens coming at all hours of the night and the hospital across the street from me actually has a heliport. So every once in a while I have a helicopter come in and bother me. I really didn't have much to say this morning other than I'm really happy to be here. I actually am. Uh, right now I'm wearing the least amount of makeup I've ever went out in so people can't go, oh Cassidy you always look so put together. <laughs> I just put on a little bit of powder, uh, did the purple eyes and um, did my brows and like I said I did my nails last yesterday because the silver polish chipped real bad so I went back to this and oh, it looks great almost manicure like so today I'm just going to do what I can get through the day enjoy it I'll probably be online, as always, but uh, definitely I want to finish up a scene today, start a new one tomorrow, or even tonight, i um, going to keep the TV off, completely. And one of the things that I noticed in my writing is that there's a, a girl, a female blogger, who follows me. And she has been reading the excerpts from my novel on her blog, um, on my blog. And one of the things that she's been saying is, I'm really worried that you're going to break up Annie and Carrie. Uh, she said, please don't let Emma get in between them. And it made me think, here's a person who has really taken a vested interest in my characters just from reading excerpts. And 
when I did the video the other night of saying that I really have to look at myself and say, you are an amazing person, you are a good writer, an amazing writer. I see that and I think, you know, there is some truth in those affirmations that you are good, you are capable of reaching out there and touching other people to the point where I have a fan following the excerpts of my novel going, oh please, don't break them up, don't break them up. You know, they need to be together. They'll always be together. It's just the way they are. But unfortunately, they go through a lot of trials and tribulations in their lives. And it's just like life in general. My characters don't have an easy way of getting through it, so. That's really my thought for today. Out here, 12 stories up, on the shores of the beautiful Susquehanna River, which is only a block over in that direction. You can see a little of it right there. Yeah, that's, that's the Susquehanna. <laughs> Thank you for the coffee, Hodgers, and the cup. It means more to me than you could ever imagine. So, take care. Have a good Labor Day. And, uh, I'll get another one of these out to you soon. Probably sooner than you want. Okay, take care.